The first ternary machine was developed at Moscow University in 1958 by Sergei Sobolov and Nikolov Brusensov. It was called CETUN. It can be mathematically proven that Radix 3 number systems are the most efficient for representing all numbers. In electronics, this minimizes the number of data lines required, minimizing cost and time of computation. I give you a demonstration of the input-output relationship of a simple ternary inverter. At an input level of zero, the output should be in the high logic state, between 4.8 and 6.1 volts. At a logic state of 1, from 2.8 to 4.1 volts, we expect a logic state of 1 at the output. Finally, when the input is at a logic state of 2, we expect logic state 0 at the output, from 0 to 1.3 volts. This ternary inverter was constructed using the HCC 4007 dual CMOS integrated circuit. In senior design, I learned how to fail. More importantly, I learned how to learn from failure and use these failures to improve myself as an engineer. I was forced to face challenges head on, ask questions and research what I didn't know, and when I struggled I relied on perseverance and hard work to overcome. Oh yeah, and coffee. Lots of coffee. In senior design I was able to apply knowledge gained from numerous undergraduate classes to a unique project that interested me. In this project I learned from success how to work with dual microprocessor circuits and how to represent ternary logic using binary devices. I learned from failure, the critical aspects of time and project management. All of these lessons I will take with me from senior design into my career as an EE.